Hey you guys, it's me Gemstone at TarifyHealing.com. I hope you're doing really well. This reading is for the Virgos and I'm just shuffling up the deck. I'm using the Fountain Tarot and we're going to see what is coming up for you Virgos for the week beginning the 22nd through to the 29th. Okay, you have a reverse card, which is interesting. I generally don't read with reversals, so when a reversal does show up, I do just tend to just incorporate it as and leave it in the reverse position if I feel like guided to. If intuitively I feel like it's supposed to be the other way, I will turn it, but in most instances, I do just keep it the same way it showed up because clearly Spirit wanted it to be that way. Because generally I don't read with them, so so okay. The um butterfly card that is showing up for you, Virgo, from twenty second to the 29th, is oh that's a nice one. Seeking and finding, I like that one. Seek and you shall find. Isn't that what it says in the Bible? I'm sure it does. Anyway, this card is the Six of Swords. That's your first one. And then you have the Devil Reversed. And then you have the Queen of Cups. So I feel that you are moving into new territory, Virgo. And it's all going, it's, it's all in a better direction. The Six of Cups is kind of telling me that, with especially pairing it with the Devil card, is I feel like you get you're getting over a tough period in in your life. You're getting over some kind of struggles, um, either something that you felt was holding you back, keeping you trapped, keeping you stuck, or you couldn't get over it, or you couldn't be free of it, something like that. But it's like with the Six of Cups cards, it's saying that you're getting better. Like almost like if this was somebody that was suffering from some kind of addiction, this card would almost represent them being in rehab. It's almost like you're still going through the difficult process of rehab and cleansing and detoxifying your body from whatever is in there. And it is a difficult process, but then you know you're getting better. And it's like you're, you're, you're becoming closer and closer to your goal. And so that's what I see with this card. So even if you're not necessarily addicted to any kind of drugs or substance or something like that, it could be just saying that there might be something in your life that feels similar, like you were in an uncomfortable situation or something that just wasn't really pleasant for you at one point, but then you're, you're moving into something that's better for you. And it's like you're releasing some stuff that was really just, you couldn't shake it at one point in your life. Or it felt like it was just a part of you or a part of your character. Um, but this could also be getting rid of, of, of uh, limiting belief systems, getting rid of things that are um, not productive to you or no longer are productive. Um, and when I say productive, I just mean like maybe you're, you're just thinking more in terms of how can I improve myself or how can I make myself better in some kind of way. And so you certain things tend to fall by the wayside. So I think that that's kind of how it, it's showing up for you. And I think that's a good thing because then ending on the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Cups is showing that you are healed. You're healing yourself you're purifying yourself you're the you, it's, it's like i see some kind of cleansing in these cards and both of these cards are six of swords even though the swords is a air um its element is air and this is cups you can see both cards has a lot of water in them so it's it's saying that you're purifying certain addictions or habits and because this is showing up, the devil is in reverse. When the devil is up, it means that you're fully deep in these habits and these addictions and things like that in a very unhealthy way. But then when it's reversed, it's saying that you're free of those things. So you're allowing those things to fall away in order for you to live almost like a cleaner lifestyle, a better lifestyle. So even for some of you guys, it could be just improving your diet, improving, um, maybe you're even drinking more water as well. Maybe you're even um, ch just changing, just breaking bad habits. And I think that that would be really good for you because I feel like it's just going to make you feel better on a spiritual level, on an emotional level. And because of that, even on a physical level. So if you feel guided to do any kind of cleanse or some kind of purging this week, I think that you should really go for it because I think it's going to have a good impact on you.
and it says um seeking and finding so i i really love the the um how that's written because i do truly believe that i think that what you look for is what you get you know how sometimes people say oh it's not a good idea to look down your partner's phone because you know you're always good. more than likely you're going to see something you don't like and then it's going to become an issue that's kind of how this seeking and finding thing can turn out but it, on the other side of things, it can be a good thing because, for instance, let's say you was looking for something that could be helpful to you, like maybe, um, I don't know, like maybe you was interested in a certain recipe or something. And so you went online to search for it and then you found it. Like there's certain things that can be beneficial for you to find, but there's certain things that may not be beneficial for you to find at the same time. And so I think what this is about is, is that if there is something that you do need help with or if there's something that you think to yourself well that could maybe I could improve on that or maybe I can do something a little bit differently it's kind of saying that if you go out there and search for the information or search for support search for those things you'll get them so it's almost like a card that says you have to be proactive in the things that you want to change about yourself or if you want your circumstances to change, you have to be proactive. You have to do something. So, yes, peace and many blessings to you guys. I'll be seeing you. Bye.